Since 1948, David Webb has been the quintessential American jeweler of highly original modern jewelry. It is best known for distinctive carved and enamel animal bracelets, dramatic gold necklaces, colorful tattoos, multi-cross brooches, dynamic use of pearls and diamonds, and exquisite rock crystals. David Webb is one of America's most important distinguished jewelers. Welcome to Gems and Jewelry. In this episode of La Mansion, we explore the pompous world of David Webb and the proud creations the jewelry house has offered since its founding over seven decades ago. David Webb was born in Asheville, North Carolina in 1925 and discovered his love of design as an apprentice silversmith with his uncle. His first design, a copper ashtray, signed with a spider in its web. Dreams of the city took him to New York, where he found a job in Greenwich Village and a patron in the form of the wealthy socialite, Antoinette Villeret. In 1945, they opened a store together. Webb's innovative modern designs quickly captured the attention of the social elite and by 1948, he had bought out Quilleret and established his own company, David Webb Inc. By the 1950s and 1960s, movie stars and fashion icons, including Elizabeth Taylor, Jacqueline Kennedy, and Diana Vreeland could be seen wearing his bracelets, brooches, rings, and necklaces, jewels fashioned in hammered gold, black enamel, and colorful gemstones, many in the shape of exotic animals. In 1962, he became First Lady Jackie Kennedy's choice to make the official gifts of state. David Webb once said, Women are tired of jewelry looking jewelry, and they want one of a kind pieces. Animals are here to stay. No doubt, if there's a statement that perfectly encapsulates his design aesthetic, it is this. Mr. Webb stayed committed to creating bold pieces of jewelry by leveraging hammered gold, unconventional materials like rock crystals, and bright colors capable of lighting up any room. The result is a slew of high jewelry that looks nothing like regular jewelry, but rather is an unmissable work of art. Tragically, the designer died in 1975 from pancreatic cancer at just 50 years, but the company he founded lives on, creating jewelry based on his archive of more than 40,000 drawings and designs. It's a legacy that embodies glamour and sophistication, plus a touch of over-the-top whimsy. Let's explore some of my favorite pieces, shall we? The art and architecture of Asian civilizations were a big influence on Webb. He was a regular visitor at the Metropolitan Museum of Art and he studied different alloys to create gold reminiscence of Asian jewelry. This is not gold for the timid, but for the bold. If there is one overall message from the ancient world civilization, it's that women are powerful and declarative in their taste and their actions. Who knew that something this old could be so refreshingly modern? Nearly every Asian civilization around the world inspired David Webb. The art from Africa, Asia, the Americas and more were all reimagined as modern jewels in David Webb's hands. Many of the creations make a show in hammered gold, evoking the beauty of the eras gone by. Whether sprinkled with diamonds, rubies, tourmaline and amethyst, or elevated with carved jade, enamel, turquoise and sapphire, Webb paints a colorful picture with bold jewelry. This new collection from David Webb gives a nod to the vibrant city of Mr. Webb's birth. It is often said that no matter how far one travels, it's impossible to forget home, and this collection reiterates this truth. This North Carolina city is known for its beautiful gardens in destinations like the North Carolina Arboretum, and we see that here. A blooming garden teeming with vibrant flowers in pink, blue, and white, the Maison achieves this bubbling sight with enamel turquoise, chalcedony, sapphires, pink opal, rubies, emeralds, and of course, diamonds. If there's one thing the David Webb brand is known for, it's an unapologetic affinity for colors. Several shades of blue paired together. 
orange is married with green, red punctuated with yellows, and all the vibrance that the color spectrum has to offer. This dedication to hues requires that only top quality stones, flaunting the most impeccable saturation and tone, are used in this New York jeweler's studio. Bold color forms the David Webb palette, turquoise lights up the face, and coral has pizzazz, creating a colorful sensation for grown-ups. David Webb the modernist, tending towards more geometric and architectural forms over figurative, which shows up in so many ways. For instance, cascading Celtic forms and Mayan stepped pyramids decorate pendants, Chinese Wu Yi and Ushnisha and inverted sea scrolls dominate pieces. From the crux of civilization, the ancient form of the crescent emerges, with many layered meanings utilized endlessly throughout time. The symbol of the moon and the heavens is formed beautifully in hammered gold and carved hard stones like turquoise and corals. David Webb's favorite pets are bejeweled and enameled. They roar and neigh, some of them chatter non-stop, and all are members of the jeweler's animal kingdom. The first David Webb animal bracelet was made in 1957, and by 1963, the company had a beast area of its own. Frogs, horses and zebras, party with monkeys, snakes, elephants and all the big cats in this jeweler's studio. Whether it's earrings merely spotting the giraffe stripes or a full-on monkey brooch, the introduction of the animal creations unleashed a mere obsession with whatever could fly, crawl, swim or run. A racing locomotive a sleek automobile or a gleaming ocean liner are all synonymous with a streamlined aesthetic. Made with opaque carving hard stones and geometric straps of diamonds, the streamlined collection evokes speed and propulsion towards the future. In one instance, Azomalachite, Kalinian, and Chrysopars meet in a statement cocktail ring sprinkled with diamonds. Meanwhile, in the regular link necklace, blue chalcedony, White agate links, carnelian plaques, brilliant cut diamonds, and 18 karat gold play a role in this work of art. Like gleaming rivets on an enamel skyscraper, these bejeweled studs hold brilliant cut diamonds and capuchin stones in their golden bezels, bringing sparkle to this miniature feat of engineering. The David Webb stud collection consists of many designs from the early 1970s, mainly starting in 1971 with the introduction of the wave ring. These pieces are all defined by brilliant cut diamonds, colored set in 18 karat yellow gold and sunken down into a field of perfectly smooth black enamel. Of course, as time went on, enamel changed colors and brilliant cut diamonds became cabochon rubies, emeralds or sapphires. These multicolored miracles became a graphic design expression of modernism in a bejeweled form. David Webb totems are unique and witty creations that offer the pleasure of stacking shapes and colors by combining one of a kind colored stones. Webb is known for his love of yellow gold and his bold use of color in general. The totem collection mixes and matches gemstones textures and shapes to create entirely unique pendants. Whether it's emerald, black enamel, yellow sapphire and conzite, or malachite, white enamel, amethyst and coral, the results are the same. Rock crystal is a luminous alternative to diamond. Meanwhile, pearls are eternally elegant, and David Webb loved them both. Interestingly, he thought pearls should be as big as lima beads. <laughs> the toilet collection blends his love for both, exuding radiance and light, thanks to pearls and rock crystals. Typical of David Webb, there's still room for color in this collection, and I'm glad for that. From turquoise to amethyst, twilight dazzles on the stock. New York's 57th Street is where fashion and culture meet and where David Webb had his first boutique for many years. This is jewelry for sophisticated, urban, stylish, and always modern, where diamonds meet 18 carats hammered gold. 
designed with a capital D, is the scaffolding for every major David Webb collection. The jeweler's enamel and diamond tattoos, bracelets, geometric rings and earrings showcase David Webb's love for graphic patterns, architecture and top art. Webb's affinity for geometric enamel, specifically black designs, such as this diamond and black enamel earrings, is a teal as old as the brand itself. Other enamel pieces incorporate colorful heartstones in juxtaposition with an otherwise polished finish, such as this pink coral earring. David Webb's creations are a proud testament to the more is more mantra. So why settle for understated jewels when you can have bigger and better options? The designer once said, I had a tremendous feeling of art in me. I wanted to be an archaeologist, a ceramist, or a jeweler. Jewelry won out. And I, for one, am glad we did. Let me know what you think about the brand and its jewels in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.